Yo. All right. All right. Peace and love <laughs> to the family. We out here. Going Shout live, out man. to all the lovely people in the building. Shout out to all the people who ain't in the building yet who's going to be in the building. It's definitely a beautiful day here in Lusaka, Zambia. Yeah, so we have a special day today. We have a special guest. And we also have the beautiful family. Y'all know me, the one and only AB Lucky, all up in the building, all up in your area, family. Yeah. Shout out to the beautiful, the lovely wife who's <laughs> currently in the building. Peace, yeah. love, light, everybody. Uh, all the beautiful people out there. Shout out to you, you for um, tuning in. Stars, love. Shout out to you. Hey, hey, family. Shout out to you, everybody who's tuning in. Another beautiful day here in Lusaka, Zambia. Yeah. And, and we have somebody else in the building, family. <laughs> we have the one and only, the artistical, the lovely, the pretty Ayla in the building. Yeah. Hi, everyone. <laughs> How are you today? And yes, well, I still got this on. Sorry. I be needing this because, like, you know, driving by in the cars, you know, maybe some dust might float in because right. my allergies. But yeah, how are y'all today? <laughs> I hope you're doing well. What I see it. Good morning, family. Good morning to you. <laughs> yeah, family. So we out here, Lusaka, Zambia. Very beautiful out here today. It's around 77. Uh, 75 degrees, depending on where you at in Lusaka, family. We're in uh, Ibex Hill area, I believe. Um, we do have a special guest in the building. We're going to uh, introduce them once uh, once the lovely wife talks about uh, the things that she has to talk hey. about. Beautiful people. <laughs> and we also have uh, my yeah, new friends. <laughs> yeah, who we're going to also uh, meet. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so shout out to everybody. I want you guys to uh, and shout out first of all to Chiba Africa uh, Academy. And I want you to check them out online at ChibaAfrica.com. Um, and what they have is a, a plethora of courses that you guys can take no matter where you are in the world. If you're interested in, um, I guess, growing uh, cannabis and get into that industry, even hemp, there's so many um, things that you can do uh, with these wonderful, wonderful plants. So get into I want you to check them out again, ChibaAfrica.com online oh and join, sign up for classes at the Chiba Academy. Academy. They have super affordable classes and courses you can take online. You don't have to be there. Um, they're located in Johannesburg, South Africa, but you can take courses wherever you are in the world. Sign up today, ChibaAfrica.com. So today we have a very special guest in the building with us. Um, very interesting. Uh, he is an independent consulting engineer right here from Zambia. Um, we're in Lusaka and um, his name is Ngobala. Yes. <laughs> oh, you got it. <laughs> Hi, everyone. So how you doing? Yeah. yeah. Yes, how you doing today? I am fine, thank you. All right, you are live. Uh, so our audience <clears throat> is tuned in. So um, how long have you, and you're originally from Lusaka? No, yes? I'm uh, originally from, from Kitwe. Oh, Kitwe, mm -hmm. okay. What area of the country is that in? It's uh, somewhere like up north. North, Much Northern more Zambia. closer to, to Congo, it's in the copper Wow, yeah. wow, wow. And you are an independent uh, consulting yes. engineer and yeah. you have your own company, right? Uh, yes, I'm, uh, right. I'm a shareholder in uh, a uh, consultancy firm called nice. NGM Consulting Engineers. Nice. You can find it at www.ngmzambia.com. Ah, right. Nice. And uh, specialize in uh, uh, water infrastructure. Nice. Okay. okay, water infrastructure. So, yeah. um, can you give us like a quick example, the viewers, of what you do, what it is you do as a. Um yeah, so I basically the, the design uh, uh, water infrastructure for most of the clients. Uh, water companies. Ah. So if they have a major project to uh, maybe overhaul the entire system, uh, <laughs> to rehabilitate the infrastructure like intake, treatment plants, <laughs> reservoirs, pipelines, that sort of thing. All right. Yeah, All in, right. A, in a nutshell, yeah. So, nice, mm. nice. And um, have you spent any time outside of Zambia? Yes, I worked in the UK for about five sure. years. Um, did a lot of projects for uh, Seven Trent Water. Wow. Um, southern Water, mm. which is somewhere in um, uh, uh, in the southern area of the of the UK, and oh. then I also did some work work for um, for uh, Scottish Water, but oh. this was work done under a consulting firm. Oh. So there was uh, the, my first one was uh, Michelle, 
mm-hmm. Michelle group, and then I moved to MWH. Mm. And then from there, I, uh, I uh, studied at Birmingham University and then wow. decided to come back here. All right, yeah. all right. And um, I like that you said you decided to come back home. Yes. What sparked that? Did you already uh, originally have the um, idea that you're going to come back home anyway? No, oh, actually, at the beginning, I thought it was very nice to go to the UK. We were really excited and all that. But <clears throat> having a home to come to is it's, it's a very big difference. Oh, yeah, so, I got you. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> and also to... to so the things that I could do there, I could do it much better here and uh, contribute to the to the country. Mm, nice. Excellent, excellent. Wow. And it is a beautiful country. You know? Yes, it is. And um, yes. you welcomed us here to your home today. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you so much for that. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you, you gave us a little bit of a... I would say a shock, but not really. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, it was, was heard about. You heard about the... Uh, <laughs> Wow, caterpillars, and it's part of the, um, the history, culinary history of Zambia, Zambians. And yeah. uh, you said we're going to have caterpillars on the menu today. <laughs> on the menu, part of the menu, yes. yes. It actually, it's my favorite. Oh, yeah. uh, really? We call it Ifishimu in, uh, in Bemba. Um, oh. But um, these are not just any other caterpillars. And it, oh. I mean, people get shocked, especially these Europeans will be like, oh my God, how can you eat that? <laughs> but if you look at the the... Uh-huh. These um, uh, not mussels. What's the other one? The the seafood. Um, uh, oysters. No, no, clams. 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 Uh, Octopus. Shrimp. No, no, not shrimp. Uh, these prawns. 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 Yes. Prawns. Prawns. Yeah, prawns. This is a disgusting looking thing. If you, <laughs> if, you, if you were to. Yeah, some people don't like. Prawns. Yeah, it yeah. looks like a like a tick. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. Like just a giant. It's tick. like a giant tick. Yeah. yeah. So. People eat all sorts of things. Yeah, yeah. Wow, okay. <laughs> Can you give us like a little history, history on the caterpillars and how people began to eat those? Yeah, so the <clears throat> normally it's eaten by Bemba people where ah. I come from. So uh, when when people were migrating, right? Mm-hmm. They were migrating, Bantu people migration. Ah. So those, uh, they didn't carry any food. They would just eat what they find. Mm. So part of the, the, that's why you find a lot of uh, different types of vegetables, mm-hmm. some which are not found in other cultures, but because uh, they were migrating, mm-hmm. so they didn't carry any food, so they had to eat everything that they had to find. But they had to be picky about it. And one of the delicacies were caterpillars. Wow. And, uh, because the caterpillars are actually, these caterpillars, if, if you fish them, they call it sometimes more mo pa, mo pa, mo mo pani worms. Mo uh, pani. Mo yes, but mo the pani. worm is a, is a, is a misleading uh, uh, one. Mo, mo, pa, mo, mo worms. Mo but it's a bit misleading because you think it's a worm. No, it's, yeah. uh, it's a caterpillar. Because it, and they are fussy eaters. They only appear once in a, a, wow. in a year. So Where do they um, come from? Where do they collect them from? Is it a tree? They, they, yeah, they, 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 uh, they, uh, they collect them from a tree that appears um, just at the beginning of the rainy season. So those caterpillars uh, will not appear immediately. So oh, they will appear see. after the second, <laughs> the second, um, uh, what do you call this? The second flower. So uh, they only eat okay. a certain type of that. Uh, mm. uh, so they, so the people have uh, mastered the, the seasons. Mm, so wow. when they, they, they appear, then they go pick them up. Oh, they're mm. seasonal. So in your opinion, I don't know, because we have never had caterpillar before. <laughs> What does it taste like? Can you compare it to something? Nice. Oh, I can't compare it. <laughs> <laughs> so can compare? When I was young, um, uh, they, they, they can be eating chicken, anything else. But if they are caterpillars, may I stick to my caterpillars. Really? Uh, yeah. You get two types of people. There are those that are grossed out and those that just love them. Oh, oh yeah. wow. So if you have never tasted them, you'll be like, oh, my God, it's no. horrible. But <laughs> no. um, if, you've, if you taste them, yeah, you may like them. Ah. Yes. How are they prepared? Is different ways to prepare them, or yeah, yeah, yeah. Them? You can uh, fry them sometimes. Okay. Sometimes you can boil them. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, and uh, maybe you might not eat them because you don't eat tomatoes. Oh, uh, you put tomatoes in there. Uh, because it was. Uh, I know. I think. I think. I think we. Oh. Uh, I hope we separated them, but uh, okay. yeah, we can see the ones that are okay. not with tomatoes. Okay. And you can fry them without tomatoes, but they are not nice. Ah. But if you do with tomatoes and yeah. onions, yeah. yeah. Nice. Okay. 
All right. All right. So Tony Richards said, I used to enjoy them the time I was in Zambia. They're nice. Really? Hey. Oh. Hey, yeah. Yes, yeah, so oh, we got to wow. try that. Oof. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just picturing them alive, but I know ah. they're they're cooked. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's like picturing yeah. Good. Oh, yeah. Nice. So I like know, the caterpillars, like so what do they turn into? Do they turn into like butterflies? butterflies. Oh, okay. Oh, right. okay. The Actually, kind of my older sister right. stopped eating when. Uh, uh, my father told them a story. Oh. These are actually eventually. So she was busy eating them. Oh, oh it's very nice. <laughs> but then he made a mistake of oh, telling her oh. that, oh, actually That's these nice. turn into butterflies. Oh. So they turn into butterflies. <laughs> oh, wow. And then she stopped eating them from there. Oh, man. Man, that's yeah. something. Oh, yeah. Jerry says 30 plus year old Zambian. I could probably say I've never tried them. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So, see, that's like one person so who's gross. Not, out, not all, all mm. people have tried them here. Okay. Well, okay. All right. So, yeah. they're yummy. Yummy. Water, waterly yummy. <laughs> my nice. mouth is watering. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. But well, we're going to try them all today. Right, so, you want to? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right, we're going to see what is on the menu. What's yeah. on the menu? Come. Yeah. All right, and as it's you can see, lovely, we got uh, place. the lovely two dogs. Season. They're very active, yeah. very active dogs. New friends. <laughs> yeah, well, Ayla like loves dogs. We all love dogs. As yeah. well as I love yeah. cows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and check that video out if you haven't seen it. Yes. Ayla loves cows. Yeah. <laughs> all right, family. So we're gonna see what's in the kitchen. I'm kind of holding the mic, so I can't really like switch camera angles and stuff like I usually do. But peace and love to all the family who is out there. Yeah. All right. So it's a nice smell of cook, cooking food going on in the kitchen. Okay. It's okay. Oh, actually. Okay. No tomato. Oh. No tomatoes. No tomato. So I. Hello. Hello. I need a little bit, but there is no tomato here. So. Okay. Okay. Can okay. Right. Can we try it now? Yeah. Or at the table? Let's wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Let's wait till we get to the table. Okay. <laughs> it smells nice. good in here. Yes, it does. Wow. wow. Nice. Mm. Nice. Wow. Yeah. The food smells great. All right. Nice. So we'll right here where we have a little bit of light, family, mm -hmm. and get things together. Yeah. It's like a park right here. Okay. Yeah. So how was your uh, stay in the UK? And how long did you stay? Uh, about five years. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Five years and then uh, wow. come back. And it's been nice ever since. Yeah. Yeah. So how was the UK? Is it like, is it nice there? Like, how's the weather there? Is it always cold like they say it is? Or does it get warm? Yeah, when the sum, uh, in the summer it's very hot. But okay. in the winter it's really, really mm. cold. But it's always a problem if you are if you are used to the sun and to go there because sometimes even the the sun changes when it comes up in the morning ah. so for us it's always constant like okay maybe there may be some delays but in the uk it was always <laughs> cold and wet and uh, damn. Uh, and, nice. and the people are very sad oh, oh yeah <laughs> very we've angry. heard that we've when heard you, that a lot when you walk, <laughs> when you're walking in the streets they're all looking very angry oh like, wow you can't even say hello 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 oh wow <laughs> i'm sure that someone listening will be like wow what's happening <laughs> that's the truth <laughs> you can go to a pub and not say anything to anybody oh you know? wow so it's unlike here where you went you enter a pub and everybody for, for the first time you can go there and say hello and then people be hey, yeah yeah <laughs> the UK is, Hello, Bill. Oh, wait, 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 wait. When did you get back here? What year did you get back here? 2013. 2013. Okay. Oh, okay, back a minute. Nice. Shout out to Ja and Zola for the super chat. It says one time for the Mopane worms. Love from the US. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Ja, are you from Zambia? Um, or from this area? Yeah. Obviously, they they're familiar with the, the Mopane worms. Nice. Mm. Beautiful place. Wow, Star says. Nice. Yeah. So, um, wow, what else is on the menu for today? Oh, I can show you. <laughs> I didn't show you the rest. Okay. Oh, oh no, I thought you were going to bring it. Yeah. You can tell us. Until yeah, you, you can tell it. us. Okay. Right. So, um, okay, he's going to bring the items out. So, um, yeah, this is a big yard. It's like a park. 
feels like a park. This is really yeah. nice. Really, really nice. nice. Zambia really has some really serene and quiet neighborhoods. Very nice. I love the fact they have a lot of trees everywhere. Um, nature, just very calm and serene. Very, yeah. Very lovely country. Yep. Nice. Uh, thank you for the super chat, family. Yay! All right. And, and go to. <laughs> Mwanamuke. I hope I said that right, family. Uh, I'm trying to pronounce yeah. the, the words like right, but if I pronounce it wrong, please forgive me. It's charge it to the uh, head, not the heart, family. Yeah. yeah a lot of fruit trees. Yeah, yeah, definitely a lot of fruit yeah, trees. Yeah. Oh. Uh oh. Fish. Oh, okay. look at this. <laughs> this is a fried then boiled fish. Oh mm. my goodness. So. Which kind of fish is this one? This is a tilapia. Tilapia. Wow. Tilapia. Wow. But for for you, we have a dry one without okay. tomato. Ah. <laughs> okay. That's so right. sweet. They prepared for me, just for me, a, a separate dishes without the uh, tomato. Yeah. I wish I could. It looks so divine, but I'm just, I'm allergic. That's all. Yeah. yeah. I've been like that since I was young. And I just want to uh, let y'all know, family, like, this is how it is in Zamb Zamb Zambia. Sorry. Zambia. Like, <clears throat> a lot of the brothers and sisters out here are extremely welcoming, extremely nice, and um, this is just the love you get. It's like that southern hospitality um, in the U.S., you know, like when you go down south, everybody speaks, you know, and um, invites you over to eat and stuff like that. It's just like that, you know, like when I go visit my wife's family in Earhart, South oh, yeah. Carolina, <laughs> you know, I always, it's always love there, you know. Now the mosquitoes is a different story, <laughs> family. On the mosquitoes. mosquitoes be hating. <laughs> But it's a lot of love, family. Yeah. All right. Yes. Shout out to the fam. All right. So oh, all right. this is for you. Okay. Hey, hey. Yeah. <laughs> Don't take my fish. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So we got the dry fish here. Tilapia. So that's for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't have the um, tomatoes. Nice. nice. And. Ooh, all right, and shimmer. Yeah. Oh, shimmer. All right. Yeah. And also, I just good. I just want to say real quick, family. I, I love how that Ashima looks. Now, I, I'm addicted to Ashima now. Thank you to all you Zambians. Like when I don't have it with a meal, I feel like I'm missing something. So. And he wants me. Thank to cook you all for that. I do. I want the wife to cook, me to cook it. it all the time. That's right. So I gotta. I'm gonna have to cook me a big old pot of it now yeah yeah <laughs> so i want her to cook for a it day or two. <laughs> and, and bend the knee when she serves it as well family that's right, right i said bend the knee leave the <laughs> part ah, get down uh pay pay or whatever pay your pay. name yeah let me grab a plate or something um before i continue yeah yeah jerry get you right now what you want to do family you want to get like some cereal, maybe some oatmeal, some ashima. <laughs> some you know, you want to get something. If you're a vegetarian, you want to get some uh, some greens or some tree some bark salad. or something. Something you could chew on. Uh, uh, chew on some uh, sugar cane or something, family. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, no <laughs> vegan. Nah, nah, not nah, here. Yeah, but that's what you want to do. Is this oh yeah. Chicken? Okay. Okay, that's chicken. I think that's chicken. Oh yeah. man, that looks. It's the smell oh, is very one, this inviting. Is mine, and this is the one without with the tomatoes. You have yeah. the one with. That is that's nice. Yeah. With tomatoes, and this is without. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, very inviting. I also want to say, uh, you know, I heard the rumor about Kevin Samuels. R.I.P. to that brother, and uh, condolences to his family and everything like that. Yeah, stop hating on that brother. I be seeing a lot of ignorant stuff. You know, we all brothers and yeah. sisters out here. Nobody yeah. is perfect, family. Right. You know, we all got to live on this earth and make it work together, family. Yeah. All right. And the worms. Okay. Caterpillar. Caterpillar. And this is the hero of the dish. All right. The caterpillars, family. Ew. Yeah. And I think that's the All right. Veggie there. This is the veggies. It looks like it could either be a kalimbla or a, or rip. Rip. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. He's yeah. here. <laughs> yeah, people are ignorant <laughs> celebrating. Yeah, that ain't right, family. Yeah, that ain't right. But um, yeah. But we out here, family. We just enjoying life. Thank you all for all the support that we get, all the super chats, all the uh, cash apps and PayPal's and stuff like that. We truly appreciate that, and I must say that, family. Um, peace and love to all the family in the states. Yeah. Eggplant. Yes. Okay, eggplant. Yes. You have some without the. So, I have okay. this one, and then I also have uh, some mushrooms. 
Oh, okay. Wow. We got some mushrooms here. Wow. Yeah. All right. Yeah, wow. got some mushrooms. Oh, Not magic, but oh, mushrooms. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nice. Hey, yes. why are you smiling? You don't know nothing about magic mushrooms. Uh, yeah. wow. Shout out Look to Vanessa Kiner. <laughs> Shout out to Vanessa, Sister Vanessa for the super sticker. Thank you so much, sis. Yes. Thank you, thank you. They said, yeah. how's the weather? Oh, man, the weather right now, family, I must tell you. Yeah, I got my makeshift microphone holder. You see, I had to put it on. A, uh, I got to make it a little like nicer than this. But anyway, family, the weather right now, we got like 76 degrees where we're at. Um, I believe that's around 23, 24 degrees Celsius. Um, low tonight. Now, last night, the low got down to about 14 degrees Celsius, maybe like 60, uh, <clears throat> like 64 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. Um, but today is, is, is a nice day. It's not too dry. It's not too, uh, the precipitation, none family. No precipitation today. But uh, I'm going to get back to the food because we're still bringing food out here. But that's the weather report for the day, family. I know it was short, but that's what it is, family. Yeah. yeah. So, so what, what is this, brother? What time is it there? Um, it no, is 2 p.m. Oh, like okay. Eggs. Eggs. He does the eggs. Nice. She does the eggs with the onion, tomato. Nice. That's interesting. All right. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, nice. 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 So you have to wash your hands. Yes. That's, right. that's right. You don't okay. use knife and fork here. That's right. Mm -hmm. You have to be. Oh, we eat it. Oh, my mm. All right. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, uh, maybe we we'll use it. <coughs> nice. Let's All go. right. Oh, oh, yeah. As long as we have the Ishima, we don't need utensils. Oh, <laughs> yes. um, I just, oh, my guy, Mia, uh, uh, I just want to make sure he's, he's uh, put the dog away. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, okay. I saw so one. I, I don't show... know about the other one. <laughs> no, yeah, the, the two. So I can show you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can show you where to. Uh, <coughs> Right, baby. so we about to wash our hands and get everything together, jumping and pumping in here with the food. I can't wait to try everything, family. I love, that's my twist. I love trying new dishes. Um, Ayla loves, Zambian food is Ayla's favorite. It is. Oh, yeah, I want to make sure. Just stand My here. favorite. Let's see one color. Um, and I see on the continent, one. as far as my favorite on the continent, I'm going to have to say okay. Zambia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Zambia is one of the most peaceful countries in Africa. It is very peaceful here. It is. Oh, come in and wash the hands, Mom. I'm gonna wash my hands. Such and come back. neighbors. Hmm. Okay. Such neighbors in the USA is very expensive. Big yard. Yeah, and okay. the states having a big yard. Oh boy. That's something different. I mean, in the country, you have people with big yards, but yeah. If you're in the city, hang it up. I met some Zambians when what? When they came to my hometown, and ooh, I almost hit a button in New York, the Bronx, they're pretty cool. Yeah, they are. They are. They really are. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Zambia is one of the most, oh, I already read that, I'm sorry. But they're washing their hands now. I just gotta use the bathroom, so I'm gonna have to wash my hands when I go, I guess. But yeah, we're just waiting to eat. I am very hungry, ready to chow down. So, yeah, and we're gonna be trying. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're gonna be trying some interesting things today. We're gonna see how that goes. <laughs> now, I know we're gonna be trying caterpillars. Yeah, caterpillars. Now, I don't have a weak stomach, but there's something that I just, wow, I'm gonna try. I got this, y'all. Root for me here. Root for me. Got my passport. I'm ready for traveling in the near future. Definitely, I recommend traveling. I recommend it. Are you excited about eating caterpillar? I don't know how to describe the mood that I'm feeling right now. But I gotta wash my hands. Actually, I gotta use the bathroom. Yeah. Okay, shoot. Yeah, so let's go wash your hands and everything like that, family. But um, you're gonna wash your hands yeah. right in the kitchen. Okay. Yeah, right there in the kitchen. Well, and the bathroom was like. Yeah. This one right there, you just gotta the push the door. The door's not. Okay. Yeah, you might love it. Definitely try it. Yeah, we definitely gonna try it, family. Um, <clears throat> I like trying different kind of stuff. It's just I don't like trying live stuff. Like if the worms were alive and moving, I would like have an issue with that. But I would still probably do it just to do it. Yeah. Uh, I converse almost daily with the Zambian bishop and his wife. Uh, that's cool, family. Very, very good people. Very intelligent and caring people. Definitely, family. Yeah. 
I have zero Bro. complaints about Zambia. Somebody even asked, they was like, yeah, can you uh, tell us the negative stuff about uh, Zambia? Like, y'all always talking about the positive. But as I sit and think, I don't, I can't say that. I don't, I don't know nothing negative, family. <laughs> I, I, now, I would say, like, in the house, the water pressure was, like, real janky. And y'all know how I am with water pressure, you know, but the water pressure was janky at first. But then they fixed it, so it was like, I don't know what I, I don't. Mm -hmm. How about you? Is there anything you can say negative about mm -hmm. our experience in Zambia yet? I would have to really dig and dig and be like, it's, it's, I can't find anything. I'm really thinking, I can't think of anything. Even the visa process was super, super like fast and easy. Um, yeah. the people are nice. Um, the food is great. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Cost of living is great. I, I mean, I can't think of anything negative. I'm gonna be honest. The infrastructure is is here. It is great. They're building their butts off. Yeah. They're building everywhere. Like, um, there are many conveniences. Everything you can find. Um, and if you can't find it, you can ship it. You know. So, uh, we were trying to figure out how to get mail. Somebody directed us to the post office, so we'd have figured that out. So now we know how to. Got to go by there and get, you know get a box. Um, yeah. I can't think of anything that we don't have, we don't need, or anything to complain about. I, I can't. The weather is even great. Yeah. Um, it drops a little bit at night, but I mean, we come from up north in the states, so it's colder than this uh, where we come from. So mm -hmm. right now, it's beautiful. Um, I can't think of anything. Yeah, I can't either. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so we're going to begin to eat here, family. Which way you want to sit there? Um, Okay. Or there, you can sit. I'm gonna get on this side, see what the deal is. <clears throat> All right. So we got the lovely wife in the building, and we're just gonna make our place. I'm gonna have the wife make me my plate and make sure she gives me my bow and courtesy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We need a, uh, a bend of the knee, please. <laughs> No, I'm playing. I'm messing with you. Don't, I, all right, I, you don't have to bend the knee today. But I would appreciate. I would appreciate if you yeah, make my plate for me. Thank you. And then everybody can the negative things about us Zambians, we can drink the all day. Okay. So I leave this uh, well, uh, watching from Zambia looks like a piece of love to you. Um, I haven't really been out at the nighttime, so um, I can't really. Uh, I don't know how people drink, but I know like. Don't ever try to out drink a, a Burundian. Don't ever try to do that because you will lose to that oh, one, family. <laughs> yeah, you will lose on that one. Yeah, <laughs> female or male, don't try to out drink a, a Burundian brother or Would sister. You like eggplant or no? Yeah. Huh? Eggplant or just the greens? Um. That's eggplant with tomatoes. Yeah, I take the eggplant. Yeah, thank you, uh, lovely wife. You see how lovely your wife is? Just making making the plate for us. The camera, so yeah. yeah. That ain't the only reason why, because I'm holding the camera. You do this regularly. Like, <laughs> what is you, I don't understand. What is the bragging for? I'm think. not bragging. I'm just saying this is this is just how life is. It's beautiful, you know. Well, thank you. Mm. All right. Would you like um, uh, what is this? Mushroom? uh, mushrooms? They have an egg here, or you want a piece of fish? Sure. I I really want like a piece of everything. Yeah. Thank and you. And I guess you can use this. I want definitely egg. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I never had egg like that. That looks good. Oh, it was like deviled eggs almost. You said egg, yes or no? That look good. Yes, everything. Okay. Yes. So, what are the eggs called? <clears throat> yeah. These are eggs are just what? Just boiled yeah, like, just the way you like them. Boil them up. Oh, just boiled eggs. Cool. Nice. In gravy. Ah. Ah. Gravy. <laughs> <laughs> Tomato. Yeah. And what else did they say? Okay. There's your plate, and then. <clears throat> something for this. Um, I'm just gonna. My hands are clean, so I'll just scoop you a few. Oh yeah, a few, uh, <clears throat> Caterpillars yes. mm -hmm. with some onion. All mm -hmm. right. So we got some? the caterpillars. They're crunchy. You just put a whole bunch. Wow. <laughs> yeah, good job. Are you excited to eat those? Try those eggs. <laughs> Look at the lovely sky. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Y'all know this sky out here. I won't complain. Eat the rest for me. <laughs> Okay, you have the enchimo. You do okay. look crunchy. Give me some of that. What else we need? This here. <clears throat> I'll be getting everything Ooh, prepared, family. Make room. I'll put this here. 
Mm-hmm. Right? Just let me know when Mickey, that's too many caterpillars. I know, golly. <laughs> you should have filled it up a little more. Look how much Mickey got. Ooh. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm going to try. You're not playing yeah. at all. I'm going to try. <laughs> So it is getting her a uh, share of the food. Mm-hmm. She's making her own plate, fish, as you can see, family. Yeah, there will be okay. a food market today. Monda Hill, come experience um, the nightlife of yeah, Osaka. Yeah. This one we definitely got to do that. Um, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely look into that. All right. Yeah. All right. Next thing, try the chikanda. So what is chikanda? Oh, no, no. No, that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a, it's an art. Not everyone <laughs> can do that. Mm. You get it solid. Mm-hmm. Oh, she's trying it. Okay. So Mickey's going to try the, the worms first. first. I'm sorry, the caterp- caterpillar. I mean caterpillar, sorry. It's caterpillar. Sorry. Just put the whole thing in. Stop thinking about the butterfly. It's interesting. <laughs> Getting better. It's chewy. Okay. Like it, it's crunchy because she fried them. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's not bad. Mm. Not bad. I think my brain was doing a lot more of the. It'll help them. Wait a minute. I tried some with the onion. Mm-mm-mm. It's good with the onion. Okay. okay. The onion. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You might have to stop it up with some of that in shape. Oh, man. Okay. Mm. It's interesting. Mm. Hold on. Let me try another one. Nice. That's the head, I'm assuming. <laughs> <laughs> it's real chew. It's like a... Okay. You know the texture of... um, Because it's fried. The texture of crispy bacon... Mm-hmm. That's the texture. So it's not gooey, thank goodness. Thank <laughs> it's goodness. the texture of bacon. It's mm. like a beefy kind of texture. Mm. And there's another one. DJ said onion. put some hot sauce on it. Hot sauce. They're crunchy. Hmm. Interesting. Uh-huh. Okay. At first I was like, oh my goodness, do I really have to eat worms today or caterpillars today? They're very interesting. <laughs> Very good with the uh, onion. I'm glad you like it. I like it. Nice. All right. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me try it now. <laughs> let me try it, and then we're gonna let Ayla try it, cause Ayla probably be funny. So, yeah. I'm gonna try it first, and then yeah. All right. So, uh, worms. It's a new experience. I always wanted to try like. Uh, what you call them then? Grasshoppers? Like we was in Cambodia, but we never did it. Oh, yeah, we didn't do the grasshoppers. So this is like a new experience here, trying uh, in, insect. Is caterpillars an insect? I'm not sure. It I don't matter. So. Yeah. Okay. You got it with the onion? Eat it alone first. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> He's waiting. He's waiting. Because it, it takes a I'm going to try to eat it alone. Um, like, okay. Let me try one <laughs> Your alone. Face is looking. <laughs> you eat lobsters without freaking out. Mm. I love prawn. Kill prawn is like a giant bug. It's interesting. You know what? I cannot think of nothing that this tastes like. Exactly, that's what mm-hmm. I'm trying to figure There's out. There's nothing I can think that it tastes like. Like the texture is like a beefy mm-hmm. kind of Ooh, something good? fried, like a bacon, yeah. right? Like a hard fried bacon. Yeah. But the taste is. Because I would else. say pork rinds, but no. But no, uh uh-uh. uh. Mm. It's definitely unique. It's a unique taste. Yeah. It is a unique taste. Mm-hmm. Like the texture is like. I'll tell you what the texture was like, but it's a unique taste. I don't know what to compare it to. Hmm. Mm. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
I could definitely go through a bowl of those. I can. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So we got Ayla about to try the worms. Okay. I mean, sorry, the caterpillars. I keep calling it. Are these impani impani worms? Impani worms. Okay. Mopani. 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 All righty. Mopani. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> It is like a mix of a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like a mix of things. Uh, mm. But it's actually good. Mm -hmm. mm. It does taste like bacon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But also, mm -hmm. like, I'm getting buka buka. Yeah, yeah. I was getting yeah. buka buka as well. Mm -hmm. I was I getting buka buka. Like, the buka buka we had at the uh, restaurant, mm -hmm. the Joe Snell restaurant. Yeah. 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 Mm. Oh, I was trying to grains. I'm sorry, but yeah, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. That one had like a, a smoky taste almost. It's mm. like, mm -hmm. I don't know what to compare them to. Do you purchase them alive? How do you you purchase them from the market? How do you get? Them? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. <laughs> but I mean, I'm curious. Like, no. How do you get them? Because the, um, the. Um, the women have to remove the inside of it. Oh, oh, okay. So that... Oh, so it's just like the exterior? So they, uh, I think they, they put them on a stick and they remove Ooh. the inside. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. So then okay. they dry them. Okay. So oh. if I was to probably purchase them alive, nobody would eat them. Mm -hmm. ah. <laughs> they would taste horrible, so they have an art. Of, there's a special way okay. that so they prepare them. Do you purchase them from a supermarket or...? Now you can purchase them oh. from a supermarket. Oh. But... Um, before, mm -hmm. it was just the traditional food from. Mm -hmm. So because of the supermarket one is like preserved, so okay. the taste. The, the 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 one from the village is really nice. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. Well. Oh, you want to eat? Oh wow. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. Wife is tearing her food up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ayla's going in on her food as well, mm -hmm. as you can see. Yeah, somebody should make Mopani chips and dip. <laughs> oh, <really? laughs> no, that's you. <laughs> <laughs> Shima with them. Mm -hmm. with, with, uh, with them, yes. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. just um, them alone. So. Yeah. Mm. And Shima is good with everything. I think in Shima it should mm -hmm. should be like cooked everywhere and go with everything. Mm -hmm. Me personally, that's how I feel. Mm -hmm. In this region, it's a um, staple from um, mm -hmm. uh, Kenya to mm -hmm. South Africa. So mm -hmm. in Uganda they call it the ugali, but um, yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay, yeah. Yeah. yeah, Now the ugali I had in Rwanda is a little different than this. It's it's like it's a little different. The one even I had in um. Tanzania is a little different than uh, than this. Oh yeah, because they, of what they they use it to make. It. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Some use Bones. millet. Bones. Some use cassava. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And some use um, yeah, corn. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Millet. Okay. Nice. Cause this one is is real good. I like this one. I really okay. enjoy this. And I think I'm addicted to it. That's what's it's, it's really messing me up. Cause I, like I said, I want the wife or Ayla to cook it every day. I need to learn how to cook it. Really. Is this the rib? Mm -hmm. What's the other one? This is a... Pumpkin leaves? Kalimba? <clears throat> no, not kalimba. This is... Uh, it's like spinach, but oh, okay. not, not oh, really spinach. spinach uh -huh. but the, the why or the spinach? The other one. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. The mushrooms are great. Mushrooms? Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. The mushrooms are really good. Mm. I like mushrooms. Everything is good. The fish, mm -hmm. very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I need to see you get more uh, caterpillar. I still have some. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Me, Zambians, eat good family. Ugali is my favorite. Yeah. It's starting to get on me because um, when we were in like Rwanda and Tanzania, I would always get fries. I would never get like the ugali. I got it like once, but it wasn't really my thing. Yeah. But it's like once I got out here, even with um in South Africa, like the mm -hmm. pup or mm -hmm. and stuff like that, like, you know, I got it once, but it really was like, it never didn't catch on. But now mm -hmm. 
I'm starting to see like, all right, I see why everybody uses this because it's it's, it's good, it's filling, and it feels like when you don't eat it, you're not full to me. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, in, in West Africa, in um, West Africa, they call it Ugali, uh -huh. but Bantu language is similar. Mm -hmm. Here we call it Ugwali. Ugwali. Ugwali with the Ugwali. B. For you English speaker, maybe it would be Ubuari. Ah. But for Ubuari. us, it's Ubuari. Ubuari. Okay. Which is like Gali. Mm. So, do they make uh, like their own uh, beer out here? Like banana beer or anything? Yeah, yeah. There is a uh, Chibuku. Uh -huh. <laughs> Mostly was a local brew. Mm. And there's another one. I think different types. Uh, but they normally make them from um, a millet, sometimes even this one, same. Oh, mm. yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mainly the local brew. Mm. Yeah. So, like, where did you find that at? Like, if we wanted to get some, like, where did we find it? The local, local beer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's sold in the, the supermarket. Oh, the shop. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No. But you have to go to the, mm -hmm. to our neighborhoods. Okay, the small ones. Yeah, um, and sometimes if you're adventurous, you can go into the villages. Okay. So they they have got these bowsers that distribute it, but you have to get them from from a tin. Or, or, mm. Yeah. But they, they have it's like Chibuku, you can buy it already packaged. Ah. Chibuku shake shake. <coughs> you want to try that one? That's mm. the closest to go. Mm. Yeah. Nice. You tearing that up, Ayla. I'm trying to get into my food. I'm, I'm holding the camera, though. I'm waiting for uh, either Ayla or the wife to get finished. So you're old and So that, uh, <laughs> so I had to try mine, family. Yeah. But uh, make sure you check out the um, Chiba Academy. Um, in South Africa, they have very good, uh, they have a class coming up, I believe, either June 5th or June 8th. Uh, make sure you check them out. And also check out us on unapologeticnomads.com. Um, Ayla understands the assignment, yes. And make sure you check us out on uh, Instagram at unapologetic underscore nomads. Yes. And my good brother, you have a website as well, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But nobody else. <laughs> Try to appeal to governments and local governments. It's okay. www.ngmzambia.com. Okay. Yeah. NGM. Yes, NGM. Okay. Zambia.com. Yeah. Zambia yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you do uh, independent. Yeah, I do consultancy, so in, in water infrastructure. Civil. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So most yeah. of your clients are. Or well, like governments, water companies. Oh, uh, water companies. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Oh, water companies. All right. Wow. Mm. Wow. Yeah, yeah family. You know Ugali when you eat with different kinds of sides, you will hate fries. Yeah, that's true. That's beginning to come true. I never thought I'd get away from fries, but <clears throat> this uh, this is really breaking me away from fries, family. I ain't even gonna lie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's up, George Malamo? Yeah, how y'all doing out there? Yeah. We got everybody eating but me right now. Annette Rios is in the building. Only 56 likes. We got 143 people in here. Make sure you like, subscribe to the Unapologetic Nomads. Also, family, we have um, we're almost at 50,000 uh, subscribers on here. So please. Tell your mommies, your aunties, your uncles, your cousins, your brothers, your sisters, everybody in the family, all your friends. If you're just walking down the street, you see a random stranger. Tell strangers, family, to, to uh, subscribe to the Unapologetic Nomads family. Yeah, definitely. Aaron, you need a better microphone soon. I do. This is this this is really janky, family. I ain't even going to front. But um, this is what we got to work with right now, and this is what it is, family. Yeah. I said this is what it is. But yeah, make sure you tell everybody to subscribe so we can reach 50,000 soon, family. That would be a loving uh, gift for the Unapologetic Nomad family. We bring you content every single day. 
and we love doing what we do, and we appreciate you all, family. It's all love, we're doing it. Cool, family, yeah, if you see the mic is janky, this this is what I got to work with, family. This this is the mic. You see, I got the, I got the clip on, because when I use my hand, I got to reach over, so I made this and clipped it on the um, hanger so that, you know, I could reach people, family. I'm gonna show you how long it reached, too. It, it, it's pretty long, look. Look at that, look at that, see that? Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, I notice a lot of medical schools here. Yeah. There are a lot of medical students, a lot of the young people are going into medicine, mm -hmm. which is amazing. I haven't seen that in any other country on the continent. Is that the number one major, or do they go into, like, engineering? What other majors do they take up here? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I really don't know the answer to that, but maybe mm -hmm. it's because there was only one school that used to offer that. Mm. So they, they ring fenced it. They never allowed any other mm. university to open up, like mm -hmm. especially private. Mm -hmm. So when they changed the law, mm -hmm. then the approvals for other universities mm. came up. Actually, to get into medical school, uh, mm. even if you're very good, mm -hmm. it became very diff wow. difficult because there was only so much, mm -hmm. so many students that can be uh, mm -hmm. accepted. Mm -hmm. So when they freed up this one, Mm -hmm. You get um, other people, other students who, who are interested in uh, medicine wow. to venture into it. Mm. Mm -hmm. And you yourself as an engineer, do you see many students going into engineering here? Yes, yeah. Um, for me, I'm actually trying to... Um, that's why most of the time I try to uh, push for government to include local people mm. to get into... Uh, to, to, um, to, uh, to be included in major projects mm -hmm. because that becomes like a nursery for new engineers uh -huh. to practice. Yeah, nice. yeah. Yeah, because if they exclude uh, local mm. consultants, mm -hmm. uh, local contractors, mm. then uh, um, the, uh, there is no continuity. If there is a major project, you can get a foreign consultant. They come, they do the work, then they go back. Right. But if you get a local one, they can mm -hmm. even identify where. Um, mm -hmm. um, defects mm -hmm. are appearing and then uh, so this for more work so uh -huh. it becomes like a like a nursery for 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 engineers wow mm -hmm. so yeah there are a lot of young people that are interested in engineering nice yeah. and uh, try yeah. as much as possible to include them when i have a project mm -hmm. nice. Nice. nice yeah so uh th thank you for representing us aa very well in africa y'all and the bag family again we are my new favorite much blessings. Thank you so much, family, and thank you for the super chat. We truly appreciate that. Yes. Yes, yes. Yeah. And that's very important. So, um, yeah, like, uh, I think it's great just seeing the students just apply themselves and they're going into those kind of majors yeah. because a lot of times, you know, um, I don't know, children, you know, shy away from those, those things. And that's like, uh, helping to build the infrastructure of your 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 country. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's very important. Mm -hmm. Engineers and doctors and do you have many going into law here? Lawyers? Yeah. They, okay. There are a lot of people going into uh, mm. law. Yeah. Mm. Although for me, I mm -hmm. really don't mm. encourage people to get in there. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, oh, a quick question also. Um, what is the situation with, um, okay, when you, you did mention there there they might be uh, foreign contractors or people who come here to do work, they're from different places. Mm -hmm. How does that work? Do they actually, they do the work and they, they leave? Or it's, how does that work? Yeah, some, 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 a few establish themselves here. Mm -hmm. But majority, like any other businessmen on women, they mm -hmm. make their money, then they leave. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Okay. But most uh, companies, like the Chinese companies, mm -hmm. they are staying. Okay. They are not mm. leaving. Okay. So, um, but they have an agreement. It's not like they're just taking over things. No. Like we hear that all the time. No, no, no. They, they uh, well, I, for them to do it, it means somebody else has allowed them to do it. Right. Yes. Right. They will not do something that is easy. Not allowed. But right. there are some people that. Uh, break the law sometimes but mm -hmm. um uh, there is also this narrative that the chinese are taking over the <coughs> right. the continent <laughs> but there are governments there 
mm-hmm. in the continent, in the countries where they are establishing themselves. Right. Mm-hmm. And um, for me, I um, just like any other regulator, you have always have to protect the, the weaker ones. Mm-hmm. Um, the only disadvantage that is there, especially if you open a- anything that is done in excess, is the problem. If you have a say a government contractor okay. owned by the Chinese government okay. to compete with me, mm-hmm. I will not stand a chance. Okay. That's where our government has to come in okay. and create a fair platform mm-hmm. for us to compete. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because if we're excluded from the, the, the contract, say, we don't build our right. country, we don't participate. So Yes, they're coming in, but sometimes they also come in with some good ideas. Okay. And there are some, in every uh, game, there is always a bad player and a good mm-hmm. player. Mm-hmm. So um, it's up to the government and the regulators to filter out the, mm-hmm. the bad actors mm-hmm. so that even for the local um, <coughs> contractors, they, they improve together with these people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But the, <coughs> the narrative being pushed that uh, um, the <laughs> Chinese are taking over the the, the continent, uh, everybody else has been taken, you know, <laughs> taken, <laughs> a, taken advantage of us. So yeah. it's uh, there's a saying in uh, my my uh, language that uh, those um, um, how to say it in English, the, the, those people that stand have, have come to your house to benefit. If they, if two of them come from different places, they will not like each other. Mm. Yeah, they are competing for your resources they'll never like each other ah. so it's just up to the government to manage right. to manage the oh. <laughs> to manage the relationship with with, with the Chinese okay um, uh, yeah. Yeah. and if they to manage it badly of course so they will they will sneak in some very bad players but if they manage mm-hmm. it well mm-hmm. it's uh, mm-hmm. okay. Nice. So for me, I uh, for for any any country to to develop, they always have to have different uh, people. I think for Americans to get yeah, where they are, they have to encourage immigrants, even from Italy. Yeah. But they mm-hmm. had to make sure that they got rid of the mafia from Italy, mm-hmm. but they got the best people from there. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. So I don't know whether that's mm-hmm. yeah. But yeah. So even even for us, it's uh, it's uh, it's like that. Mm. Yeah, I get it. I get it. It's just big, fair. You know, long. Think people do fair business. It's just do fair business. <coughs> mm-hmm. Nice. Mm-hmm. So, something interesting you were telling us before about um, King Leopold. Oh, in the Congo. Yeah, yeah. Can you uh, tell that? Because it was something I didn't know. Mm-hmm. You know that you was telling us. It was a lot that I didn't know. You were talking about King Leopold in the Congo. Damn. Yeah. I mean, he, he treated Congo like a, this is on personal property. Mm. And everybody knows the atrocities that he committed. Mm. But what they failed to talk about is the explorer mm-hmm. who found out what he was doing. Mm. It was not H.M. Stanley. Mm. Actually, H.M. Stanley worked for Leopold. Mm-hmm. But these are people that they, they teach us about. Mm-hmm. David Livingston didn't know, do anything. But but a guy called George Washington Williams. So mm-hmm. if you get the, the name of the first president of the U.S. Mm-hmm. and you just add Williams at the end. Mm-hmm. You can Google this if you want. So he was um, an explorer who funded himself. Mm-hmm. And then he mm-hmm. saw all the atrocities of uh, King Leopold. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he went to Europe with his own money and mm-hmm. told the the king that all the atrocities that be, that have been committed in the Congo are being done in his name. Mm-hmm. So, but it's very strange that uh, this the the actual history of it has been perverted. It was offensive to watch Tarzan mm-hmm. and Samuel uh-huh. Jackson playing yeah. George Washington Williams like mm-hmm. uh, yeah. that. It's, that's just sick. Yeah. Whoever wrote that uh, mm-hmm. that thing he should, should be ashamed of himself. Because mm. he was a he was a black American. He was right? a black American, and mm. then uh, and then uh, and then uh, mm. um, you can you can find this. There is a book called King Leopold's Ghosts. Mm-hmm. Mm. In there, it's clearly written. But this person who wrote Tarzan, whoever he is, mm. 
Mm. Oh, she is. It's really hard to be ashamed of themselves. Mm -hmm. And it was very, okay, maybe I don't blame my actor to pick me that. <laughs> But uh, I think it was, was paid to do it. But if mm. he had done a bit of research, you should have said no to that. Mm. So he did a lot of a lot of work to make sure that the, the atrocities that we are now talking about, about King Leopold, was brought to the attention of the world. Mm H.M. -hmm. Stanley worked for King Leopold. Uh -huh. And when the scramble for Africa was happening, H.M. Stanley was the con man that represented America. But these are people that are being taught, 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 uh, talked about as uh, uh, explorers. And there is a, a fa famous thing called uh, when David Livingstone met, meets up with H.M. Stanley, they teach this gunk to our children. Mm. They say, oh, David Livingstone, I presume. And this is the only part they talk about mm H.M. -hmm. Stanley. But um, he was the one who taught the Germans that mm. uh, when you get to Rwanda, you can discriminate against the tall ones and the mm -hmm. short ones, mm -hmm. which ended up in what is now the, the Hutu and Tutsi. Man. Yeah, because he, re he saw those people, they had the features of uh, uh, Western uh, European features, mm -hmm. but he thought they were a different race. So, mm -hmm. anyway, so, but that's, that's about King Leopold. King Leopold, mm -hmm. King Leopold's ghosts were uncovered by an African American explorer, mm. George Washington Williams. And, and uh, if anybody decides to now uh, do a movie, mm. please, please do it correctly. Mm. Yes, do it correctly. It's not something like I'm trying to mm. fantasize, romanticize mm -hmm. uh, the black uh, history. Yeah. This is the truth. Mm. Wow. And wow. nobody has ever. Um, mm -hmm. uh, every every time you depict the uh, uh, history of uh, black people, mm -hmm. you try to make these uh, thugs mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that colonized us uh, like explorers. But the people that contributed well, you you become you, it has to be a, an assistant to Tarzan, mm -hmm. which is a, it is even a fictitious story. If you listen to Tarzan songs. Um, and you ask a Kenyan, <laughs> yeah. uh, it's so offensive because the women in the village are singing for Tarzan. Mm. But the song, if you listen to the words, it's basically talking about a first child. If your first born, if mm. your first born is born, mm. you sing for that first born. Mm -hmm. Now these people try to put uh, the song sung by uh, traditional people in mm -hmm. rural areas of wow. West East Africa mm -hmm. when they're celebrating the birth of their first born mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then they have to celebrate the arrival of Tarzan a European so anyway mm. let me not bore you for with, with <laughs> no, my no, stories wow. Wow. <laughs> good. no they love it they said this is tremendous information yeah. he is right wow mm -hmm. yeah. yes these people are terrorists yeah make mm -hmm. it plain you are right mm -hmm. shout out to Ja for another super chat Shout out to Marilyn Jones too. Shout yeah. out to Marilyn Jones yeah. Yeah, for the super chat. We saw that. Thank you so much. Yeah. Shout out to the sister Marilyn Jones. Thank you, sister, and thank you for Ja again for another super chat. And um, the message is: um, this brother is deeply is deep. Many African Americans don't even know about George Washington Williams. You're right. I salute you. They said they, they salute you. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. I'm glad people are paying attention. Mm -hmm. Oh, like history, <laughs> deep stuff. Yeah, like Patrice Lumumba once said, "One mm. day Africa will write its own stories." Hello. Mm. Mm. And people think we were just all. Um, I mean, you suffered the same way we did. Yeah. We were running away from the north. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So, yeah. so basically, actually, the 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 the, 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 the history is this: mm -hmm. you, your ancestors were captured. Mm -hmm. Me, my ancestors ran away. Oh. <laughs> they managed to run. <laughs> it's true. They had to yeah. cross rivers and yeah. uh, and, uh, and lakes. Yeah. Uh, the history is, is is there if you attend the traditional ceremonies. Wow. So we never had it easy. Mm -hmm. And and if you look at King Leopold's atrocities in the Congo, because the first the first um, mm -hmm. the first uh, resource before mm -hmm. up to this day huh, mm -hmm. done by. By anyway, I don't. But anyway, mm -hmm. so the carnage that is happening now, mm -hmm. sorry, with rubber. rubber. So the, uh -huh. yes, so they will come in 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 in, 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 a, in a village, mm -hmm. and uh, they will say, you, they tell the, the 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 father of the of um the or the male in the vi in the in that hut the first tax the mm -hmm. tax that was called hut hut mm -hmm. tax. Okay. So for the hut, uh -huh. you had to pay six ten shillings. 
Oh. If you don't have that 10 shilling, you have to pay it with labor. Oh, wow. And then what they would do is they get the, uh, your father had to go into the village, mm -hmm. uh, into the bush, mm -hmm. and go and get rubber. Mm -hmm. So if it doesn't meet the quota for the rubber, uh -huh. these people used to hang the children of these people. Oh, Are you there's a pierce, there's a pic, you can you look it up. Mm. There is a famous picture of a, of a man looking at uh, the remains of the, the oh. hand of his of his of his daughter that oh was chopped gosh. off, and 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 funny enough is even to this day in Belgium they have this chocolate which is made out of uh, like a piece of a hand. I heard about that. The history mm. is the hands that. they used to chop off mm -hmm. if you don't have the rubber. Yeah. So now from there, then came the murder of Patrice Lumumba and mm. carnage that followed after. Mm. So we never had it easy. Oh, yeah. So um, you know that the, iso, the, the, the history of uh, Tusa, Oklahoma, the Black Wall Street you talk yeah. about. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So when they flattened mm -hmm. that, 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 uh, that place to the ground, yes. mm -hmm. people forgot about it, that it would never happen again. That was 1921. Mm. Right. So the survivors from there, mm -hmm. the ones that uh, survived, they told the story. Mm -hmm. And then people like uh, W.E.B. Du Bois, yeah. they came up with an idea to say, wait a minute, maybe we, if we found out, if we founded another land somewhere yeah. and built our own Black Wall Street there, mm -hmm. maybe we may be left alone by these thugs. Mm -hmm. So he met a guy called Kwame Nkrumah and told mm -hmm. him, you can go back to Ghana become pre, pre, prime minister. Actually, uh, Kwame Nkrumah became prime minister when he was in prison. Mm. But the one who convinced him to form the Organization of African Unity uh -huh. was W.E.B. Du Bois. And if oh, you f wow. check the founding, was it W.E.B. Du Bois, uh -huh. Kwame Nkrumah, and Haile Selassie. Wow. Because wow. Ethiopia was not, was, was not colonized. Right. So when, when they formed the Organization of African Unity, Again, mm. the, 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 the carnage of, of Tutsa followed them mm. because Kwame Nkrumah was deposed. And there is a, if you check the history, because it's declassified, George Bush's father uh -huh. was a CIA operative in, yeah. in Ghanaian embassy. He was busy tossing champagne when they overthrew, um, when they overthrew um, uh, Kwame Nkrumah, mm. right? And, and, and they overthrew Kwame Nkrumah because Kwame Nkrumah, part of the reason was he wanted a united Africa. Mm. When Patrice Lumumba was slaughtered, you know what, what they did to Patrice Lumumba? First of all, they beat him. To, mm. they, when they were flying him from Kinshasa to... to it's like somebody uh, takes you into the hands of your enemies. Yeah. Imagine like uh, the beef between uh, Tupac and Biggie, right? Yeah. Then they capture Tupac alone and uh -huh. then they plant him in... You did New York, what? Yeah. And then leave him there. And then you come and say, oh, he was killed by his own people. No. Mm -hmm. And then there was a Belgian guy with no shame of the history of their king, Leopold. Mm -hmm. Then when they shot Patrice Lumumba, mm -hmm. and, and this is another part which really catches me very much. Mm -hmm. When they were flying him from Kinshasa mm -hmm. to uh, Lumumba, uh -huh. they were beating him, beating him on a plane to a point where the pilot had to tell them, saying, stop the beating, otherwise the plane will crash. Yeah. That's how horrible these people were. So then when he landed there, they shot him. Uh, in the night, they shot him. And after they ki killed him, they took his body and put it in acid. Uh, yeah, yeah. Dissolved him in acid. And some Belgian uh, CIA operator even took his teeth as souvenirs. Took certain things Yes, as, su as souvenirs. souvenirs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm talking about, uh, if you remember, I went back to the issue of Tusa, Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. When Patricia Mumba's his children survived and his wife, the one who took them in was Kwame Nkrumah. Mm -hmm. Him too suffered the same fate. He was overthrown when he was away. They, had, had they caught him, they would have killed him. Mm -hmm. There is um, the UN um, a white guy who was, uh, who was trying to say be fair to these people in mm -hmm. Congo. Was a guy called Dagamashot. Dagamashot, they they hunted him down. He crashed in Indola. Whoa! Yeah, trying to escape from mm. the your your people. But uh, mm. anyway, mm. even even um, I don't know whether this can be said in history, but it's there in the history books. Mm. With Patricia Mumba, the one who tried to 
poison him was Dwight Eisenhower. Oh, damn. But when he lost the elections, uh, I think it, um, it was um, J.F. Kennedy who took over in 1960. Mm -hmm. uh? mm -hmm. The murder of Patrice Lumumba happened when the transitioning from um, President. President Dwight Eisenhower to J.F. Kennedy. Mm. So foreign policy, mm. unlike uh, the biblical Jewish people, mm. black people are far on both sides of the Red Sea. Mm. You go this way, mm -hmm. somebody's out to get you. Yeah, that's, and, and people say, but why are you blaming this? Take responsibility and mm -hmm. take responsibility. A lot of people took responsibility. Patrice Lumumba took responsibility. Mm -hmm. yeah? But look what happened to him. Mm -hmm. There was a war even in, uh, in, um, in Angola, 1987. Mm -hmm. Fidel Castro was on our side. Mm -hmm. Mandela was in prison. Mm. Namibia was under the shackles of apartheid government. We won that war, yeah. huh? and mm. I'm proud of it. We won that war. We defeated the white people. <laughs> they still argue up to this day, right? Mm -hmm. But when we won that war, they say, no, they negotiated. No, they never. We beat them to the ground. <laughs> and in 1987, 88, they tried to ambush us. Again, we beat them mm. with the help of, uh, of the Cubans. Mm. When we won that war, Mandela came out in 1991, wow. right? Ah, and Namibia wow. got independent at the same time, mm. okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, we drove those uh, apartheid people, but we never we were never vengeful, <laughs> like uh, the way they did it in the Second World War, where they, they slaughtered all the Nazis they suspected to have committed crimes. Us, mm. we just did the truth and reconciliation. That's why you still have people that are still repeating mm -hmm. of uh, the thing is that happened in the past. Mm. So anyway, mm. it's, uh, mm. Mm. my friends yeah. think I rant a little bit too much. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, the the view the viewers are loving it. This is true history. This is history. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's not like yeah. we 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 are we are population that are of irresponsible <laughs> drunkards. <laughs> <laughs> we try to do our best. Yeah. <laughs> we try to do our best. Nah. If you look at the looting of the multinationals, yeah. Honest. The that looting of the multinationals and the, what they are doing, the carnage, it's just, uh, but anyway, so. Yeah. Mm. We truly appreciate that. Oh yeah. my goodness. Yeah, I think you um, just, that was a lot of enlightenment, enlightenment, you just want, uh, I think, I feel like I want to read, <laughs> yeah. do some more research and read, you know. Yeah, thank you for that. Mm -hmm. And I think the people truly appreciate that too. That uh, Stars Love said this brother is fire in history. Invite him again for uh, African history. Uh -huh. um, teach, brother. And that was from Azuri Sora. Uh, Real history, Mary Hargraves. They're loving it. So, yeah, I'm glad you guys appreciate it. I'm appreciate it too. I appreciate yeah. it much, very much. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. It's always good to um, hear. African history from you know Africans, mm, right? You know what I mean. Not have to read it in a book, or mm -hmm. you know people who write history and then make stuff up or have their own little uh, agenda with it. You know what I mean. So yeah. definitely appreciate that. Yes. Yeah. And I hear these um, there's this um, uh, thing that black um, Africans hate African Americans. I don't know whether you've heard this one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I think I know where it comes from. The only place that African Americans knew mm -hmm. where that if we wanted to go to Africa, we would have to go to was Liberia. Mm -hmm. But what happened in there was that there were so many diamonds and there were so many, so much uh, um, precious um, resource. resource yeah. That yeah. when um, when um, the African Americans were repatriated to there, uh -huh. they <clears throat> because the capital city is called Monroe. Yeah. yeah. But after mm -hmm. James Monroe, who was a president, who was a, mm -hmm. in um, a, in charge at that time, just mm -hmm. dumped them there and encouraged them to catch the Africans who were living there and mm -hmm. enslave them. And then for years, mm -hmm. they used to they made it a law that no no local guy would would um, would become president. Mm -hmm. So the same mm -hmm. the same government uh -huh. that dumped the freed slaves there started to arm the local guys behind. You ever heard of a, a guy called Thomas Sankara? Mm -hmm. Yes. Thomas Sankara, Sankara was killed uh -huh. by Prince Johnson, mm -hmm. one of the rebels that uh -huh. caused a lot of carnage in Liberia. Ah. But how he got killed was that um, they wanted to fight um, Samuel Doe in, um, 
in um okay some of those is the one who, who, who deposed the guy called uh, william tobit who was mm -hmm. the last african-american leader and mm -hmm. they, he slaughtered them really horribly mm -hmm. in the in the by, by the sea but he was for 10 years was even mm -hmm. coming to the white house you mm -hmm. can see him with the ronald reagan and uh, mm -hmm. everything ever heard of a guy called alan keys yes yes alan keys when i'm but was ambassador in angola uh, i'm digressing a little bit when we were fighting the 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 cia and the the their sponsored thugs in angola and the apartheid government and he was on the side of the apartheid alan keys himself mm -hmm. uh, but now coming mm -hmm. back to liberia and the war in there mm -hmm. there were arms dealers from the u.s arming the other people to say these are your enemies mm -hmm. in angola it was the same thing mm -hmm. how can Ronald Reagan tell me that a, a light-skinned black person uh -huh. is not really my brother, right. is my enemy. Right. Mm -hmm. Because Unita Savimbi was uh, for the total liberation of Angola. Ah. And what he was saying was that as long as a light-skinned person is in charge with a name like Dos Santos, mm -hmm. then we're not completely free. How can you fight that way? Mm -hmm. But the real reason was that um, um, Angola mm -hmm. had the largest reserves of oil, wow, man. offshore reserves Ooh. in Africa. Wow. The minute the, an American company got the, the rights to those, and they were stopped. Savimbi was captured trying to get across into Zambia on foot. Mm. How why didn't they support him there? Was it because it was all, it was all about, about oil? Mm. So coming back to the issue of saying African Americans hate, it was mm -hmm. the war in Liberia funded by gun gun runners from both sides mm. so when those who would mm. come from there would be like oh my god they hate us over there mm. but it had its own history and liberia is just mm. a small part right. i wow. don't I'm, i met people from liberia when i lived in the uk and uh, i asked them about why you kill each other so much uh -huh. so he, he explained to me uh -huh. in detail that it was all in summary it was all about the diamonds yep. wow. and you yep. know about the mm -hmm. They say the Nigerians are scammers. Mm -hmm. Those are peacemakers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And here's why. So the gun runner will send the guns to Liberia. Mm -hmm. And then uh, through Nigeria, smuggle it into Liberia. Mm -hmm. And then through Nigeria, you send the diamonds back to Europe. Mm -hmm. So then come up uh, a, a small young boy <laughs> from Nigeria mm -hmm. who says, all right, yeah. I can take your diamonds to Europe. <laughs> and then he calls the, the, the guy from Liberia or Sierra Leone, I can get the guns from Europe. So you bring the diamonds uh -huh. and I'll send you the guns. Uh -huh. So he gets the diamonds and he doesn't send the guns. <laughs> 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 so oh, if you remember a guy called Fort de Sanco uh -huh. in, uh, in, uh, in, um, in Sierra Leone, for the Sanko had no guns because he was scammed by to scam him, but it was a good thing because it also brought peace in a way. Yeah, okay, I'm not saying it's the, the reason why peace, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, but the history of those scammers, mm -hmm. they would go on the internet and say, I am, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I have just escaped from <laughs> from the, the, over, the, the coup d'etat in Liberia, my father left a safe. Yeah. That used to be a true story at some point. Oh. And then a greedy person from Europe or from America mm -hmm. would say, oh, yeah, I'll come and get it. Mm -hmm. And they'll get the diamonds quite all right. Mm -hmm. But then the guy said, no, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Remember that guy, he came with diamonds and he went mm -hmm. to Europe? Mm -hmm. He said, so what do we do about this? Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. let's just create a fictitious story. Mm -hmm. I have a safe here. <laughs> I'm a son of a, of a deposed oh, leader. No. And then the guy from uh, Europe will send some money and... Uh, I mean, it's, it's a funny <laughs> thing, but, <laughs> but but if somebody researched about it, it's very clear. But then coming back to that, uh, on the serious note, nobody hates African Americans here. Mm. Actually, if anything, why do you think we speak English? And mm. if you come here with already an advantage of speaking English, who would hate you? Yeah, so, yeah. so you just treat each other like yeah. you're coming from another country, visiting, like maybe say you came from Uganda, now you're visiting South yeah. Africa. Just okay. another tool of the enemy. Yeah. Yeah. Throw that out there. So there's, that, there's yeah. actually, if you see, yeah. if you see, um, I mean, we don't even have to like each other. It's survival. Yeah. yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. Because, you know, when, this, uh, when, the, when the Chinese were picking out people with COVID, even when they are the ones who brought it up, mm -hmm. 
they were picking black people. And they were black Americans who were, but we are not from Africa. But they were yeah. like, no, no understanding English, all of you go. Man. So it's about survival. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because, yeah. because if, for instance, uh, like what happened with George Floyd, if now they are a bit scared yeah. because Africans are now trying to answer with one voice. Uh -huh. Like what happened in Europe, the, yeah. all the African states start, try to answer with one voice. Yeah. When they, <clears throat> they did something to the Nigerians, they cut off the, the flight overnight. Overnight oh, they yeah, rescinded yeah. the, the mm -hmm. decision. So it's about survival. We don't have to learn. Yeah. Oh. It's like red. Oh, it's like breaking out? No, but Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully wasn't tomatoes. Right, anyway. Oh, yeah. sorry. So we have to go to the. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then, um, um, it's not about liking each other. It's about survival. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when the uh, the something happens, the reason why a Chinese will not be shot in the streets of New York, because mm -hmm. they know the Chinese government wants a back. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So if they knew that it was a strong Africa. Yeah. Even if even if you don't you're not from here, but you just look like you're from here, mm -hmm. you'll be safer that way. Yeah. So I keep telling people there is there is a strength in numbers. Yeah. Uh, uh, we have um, we have um, um, if you if you I don't know whether you've been to the city mm -hmm. there. Um, um, what, what Europeans would do if they buy one company, they identify if it's an Irish company, they identify an Irish settler around. They don't have to like him. Uh, but they just don't want mm -hmm. to make him a destitute. So yeah. they call him up yeah. and then uh, um, prop him up. So yeah. that's, that's, uh, that's what we call being on code, you know, um, mm -hmm. identifying with each other and lifting each other up. You yes. know what I mean? Because that, that's very important, especially now when everything is going crazy. Yes. You know, it's important that we continue to do that or that we start to do that. Oh, that means. Yeah. That's okay. And thank you um, to Ja again for another super chat. And um, uh, yeah, we didn't miss your comment. We have to go back because um, I didn't want to interrupt a brother. But uh, Ja said that um, we as black people should pressure Europe to return the ancient artifacts that they stole uh, so we can properly tell our history to our children. Do you know that? Do you know when, <laughs> wow. they, when, they, when, when they asked that question? Huh? When, um, when um, the Ethiopians, because the, uh, they, uh, they, uh, they, um, they have, is it uh, almost like 12 artifacts, including the head of a king. Uh, the that, head of a king? Yes. Ooh. The skull is in Europe. So when they said, bring those things back, uh -huh. for, and the, the suggestion from Europe was very strange. Mm. They said, we can loan these to you. Loan them to you. Something that was stolen from me. Wow. A thief has to go and say, I can loan it to you. Wow. So that you can show your people. But uh, it's very funny. And, That's funny. And That's the, terrible. Uh, have you ever heard of the Chagos Island? Yes. Yes. I watched. Oh, that turned my stomach. I saw that documentary about the Chagos people. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Yeah. There's a documentary on these people. You got to check that there's out, a, guys. There's a, there's a, there's a there's, nature, that turned my stomach. Yeah. It was so so offensive. That's why they make movies like Taza. Because when that British uh, uh, minister was asked, what's, what, uh, what about the... Who are living there? He says, mm. uh, there's just a few animals and a bunch of Tazans. Mm. And men Fridays. Mm. And th some of those people are still alive up to this day. Yeah. And then you get um, mm -hmm. this uh, former um, foreign affairs minister mm -hmm. called the David uh, Miliband. And that's De over. David Miliband, yeah. yes. David Miliband is heading an organization that helps people who are displaced. Okay. You know, people who are displaced or who are, who are like, uh, sorry, uh, yeah. pe people who are displaced or they are um, running away from war. Uh -huh. But before, when he was foreign minister, in, uh, foreign secretary in the UK, uh -huh. he's the one who went to court to, to fight against the rights of the Chagos people from getting back their land. Mm. Now, today, he's heading that organ. He's being paid, actually. Nobody wants to bring this one up. But, mm. uh, uh, and uh, it's... Uh, we saw the documentary, so there's a group of them, I know they were like 
a couple of years ago, I guess, protested and they wanted to go back home. They yes. wanted to be able to return home mm-hmm. to their island. And I think that they kept pressuring, pressuring the queen, but then mm-hmm. she uh, she uh, uh, just flat out said no. Yes, the government. Yeah. The Chaga, the Chaga people. Remember that? We saw that? The Chagos Island. The, the Chagos Island. Islands. Yeah. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a military base. Oh, so me? It's um, okay. So it was an island of um, we'll black. The uh, ooh, the Chagos, Chagos. Chagos Islands. Chagos uh, Islands. Uh, um, um, uh, Diego Garcia. Diego. Ooh, I gotta pull it up. I'll pull it up because yeah. we watched it a while back. But um, archipelago. Yeah, yeah, it's an archipelago. So the people were there, and uh, they had their own island. They had their own up school stores. They had it established. Beautiful, Everything yes. beautiful. It was beautiful. Um, and there's clearly they've been there for many, many, many uh, decades because there's a cemetery <clears throat> there where all their ancestors were buried. And um, I mean, they had everything, their own library, school, church, everything going on. And um, so these people show up. Yeah. And, you know, hey, the enemy, they, they see something they want. They take it. Yeah. Take it by force. They took it by force. They loaded the people on, on boats. Mm-hmm. I think it was when they, they tried to intimidate them first. Yes. Right. Uh-huh. Uh, they first send somebody to kind of do the lookout to survey the land and see what's, what they have and what's going <clears> on. It's <throat> a beautiful island. Mm-hmm. And so these white guys and they, they left and they come back. They came back with a boat. And then they pressured the people. I think they started killing the animals, the dogs, yeah, yes. and terrorizing them, scaring them that way. And um, they put the people on boats. Some were dropped off. I forgot where, but I know the Mauritius. Re- Mauritius. Yes. And then the rest they took to the UK. The UK. Yeah. And they they the really just stole, just took those people's land yeah. by force. And then they, yeah. in the UK, they have to now work for them to survive when they could just fish. Yeah. Uh, and fish by themselves. And they, there are so many things I can tell you. Like for. Like uh, when you get these um, these uh, these people, like those um, yeah, they said that was sure nannies and uh, and the other people that are spreading falsehood about us here in Africa. Now we live. They used to be there even in uh, in uh, uh, slavery times, yeah. because to justify yeah. it, they say, "Oh, these people are just savages. Hmm. They don't know anything, so you can you can go and catch them and civilize them." But mm-hmm. the kingdom of Benin was there for a long time. Mm-hmm. And uh, and then and then the Zimbabwe was basically stone building, and mm. if you look at the timeline of the Zimbabwe and the timeline of the of the um, um, maybe say the the oldest castle in the UK called the St David's Castle, they had no idea of how to build the arches until the <laughs> Romans came. Man. But if you go to the Zimbabwe, you find that they even made a dome. Mm. So it was basically about jealousy. So they had to re- ruin it. And there's a very funny story. In 1922, 21, mm. coincidentally, when they were uh, uh, burning down uh, um, uh, Tusa, Oklahoma, there was a conference in, in South Africa, in Johannesburg, mm. about who built the Zimbabwe. Mm. Before that, they were saying there were some people who built the Zimbabwe, we are the mm. ones who built the pyramids. Mm. One archaeologist was taken out of that conference kicking and screaming. Mm. Because the woman proved that it was the Shona people who built the Zimbabwe. He said, no, now you've ruined the cure for them. <laughs> you can look it up. Mm. And the minute that was proved, proven, uh, all of a sudden the pyramids were built by aliens. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> and you know, it's, it's very, 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 very uh, interesting. 19, uh, 18, uh, 1803, when the Haitians beat Napoleon in that war, that led to the Louisiana Purchase. America was 13 states at the beginning. Mm. When, when, when the, the, the slaves in Haiti won the war against Napoleon's great yeah. army, he retreated, and what did he do? He went to fight a war in North Africa, mm. and he decimated the pyramids when they reminded him about the people that beat him in a ah. war in 1803. Ah. Yeah. So, so that's what happened with the space. Yes, uh, he, he put dynamite on the noses and blew them all up. Uh, yeah. yeah. You, can, you can check it up. It's, it's very, very, yeah. very, <laughs> very Cause, fun. Yeah, because when we saw uh, a lot of the um, the statues and whatnot, it's like, every nose is missing. Why is yeah. that? Every yes, nose? Like, it's weird. And the blackest, yeah. the blackest, uh, uh, the blackest uh, 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 statues ah. uh, were flooded. In the ah. Anwar Dam, the one that is the just big people. Because the largest number of pyramids are in Sudan. Sudan, yeah. yep. yes. 
and uh, mm-hmm. the the dam that is uh, was built mm-hmm. uh, between uh, Sudan and uh, mm-hmm. and uh, Egypt basically mm-hmm. buries uh, all the in- an entire ancient city underground because mm. the statues look very black <laughs> too black to be black. that's why they, like in the southern states they, they used to I, I used to hear some people say oh it's a magic negro because yeah. he feels <laughs> because he feels very clever he's too clever to to be normal he has to be a magic negro yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. like you don't have a brain or something. Yeah. Yeah. not intelligent yeah. Yeah. yeah or like rock and roll now has to be um, white music but it was it's not. it was uh, originally done by yeah, thank you so much for this history lesson. Oh, yeah, we truly appreciate Very this. Rich. Yeah, and the, uh, the food was definitely good. Absolutely. I want to definitely thank you for that. You know, Why thank you, like cook, it? everything. I love the worms too. I'm actually going to get some more of those. Yeah. Okay. yeah, so thank you so much for that. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah, uh, my brother, we truly appreciate your hospitality. And, oh, um, very welcome. Yeah, we got to link up again with you and the fam no, one day. Right. That'll be great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, There's a lot of people requesting uh, that, okay. that we that we have you back on so you can talk more about yeah, history and yeah. everything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. So it's, it's up to you. Okay. Yeah. yeah, no problem. Um, mm-hmm. um, just let me know when you are. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Great. Cool. Yeah, see, bring the brother back on. Yeah, see, <laughs> yeah a lot of requests. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. It's been a lovely afternoon. The food was fantastic. Um, the worms are actually good. I think we're going to eat them again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll be yeah. some more. The caterpillars. Caterpillars. Caterpillar. Sorry, let me correct yeah. myself. You don't like that word. <laughs> caterpillars. Uh, so yeah. we're we'll eating some more caterpillars. Um, mm. Yeah. Yeah, good with the onions and the chili. Yeah. 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 So um, thank you for your hospitality. Mm-hmm. And we'll stay connected. Yeah, love this brother. Yeah, thank Definitely. you for the uh, super chat family. Ja. Yeah, Josh throwing out all this love today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you have any uh, last things you want to say, good brother, you can uh, you can say that. Yeah, yeah. I actually was uh, uh, hoping that um, you know because we, we 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 when we talk about investors in uh, in uh, in Africa. There's always uh, they always have to go to Europe. I mean, I've told you about all this history and all the ugliness of it. Yeah. But going forward, I wish one day we can link up with maybe say uh, black businessmen, say yeah. in, our, in an African American community that would want to come here. It's never gonna happen through the American government. Yeah. They would get a, a a person who looks different from. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I I hope because um, for me I've got um, like. Um, Apart from consultancy, I also wanted want to go into mining, and I managed to mm. get some uh, large exploration licenses, which I can wow. show you on my on the portal. Okay. Mm. But I never wanted to get these investors who are uh, basically cornermen who can con you out of your yeah. your license. Uh, so yeah. going forward, mm-hmm. we can do these things by ourselves. For instance, right. mm-hmm. uh, if you go to to town, you find the Chicago's there, right? Yeah. But Chicago has a majority of black people. Why not mm-hmm. open up a, a, a black uh, uh, eatery here, yeah. or yeah. Papa uh, or something, <laughs> yeah. or, yeah. or a black nightclub, which yeah. uh, which features people who mm-hmm. who behave like us, or who yeah. knows our music and, yeah. and all that mm-hmm. stuff, or or or, or just really just uh, try to 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 invest back here. Mm-hmm. I mean, there are ugly things that may have happened, but. Just like when the big people give uh, uh, examples of Thomas Edison, although Thomas Edison did not actually invent the light bulb. I know. Mm. Well, we know. So, so, <laughs> we know. So, <laughs> so they say, no, he tried this several times, so he kept failing, failing, failing. Until, yeah. But even us, we can be at it, you know. We try, mm-hmm. try, try yeah. until we get it right. Yeah. The, so you have a chance, especially some people that are living inside the U.S., they have a mm-hmm. chance, and um, some of them are highly educated, but they can't find jobs. But if they link up with us, yeah, back hey, here, yes, yeah, yeah. you find that there's mm-hmm. a corn man conning people here to say, um, because he's coming from Europe and he, he's a white person, he shouldn't tell them anything. Yeah. And that's actually independence how it was it was won. It was like I told you about W. E. B. Du Bois. He saw yeah. what was happening. He came here and told some people to enlighten up. Mm. So, yeah, that's what I actually would hope that if in, even in my in the mining, there there is always good rush somewhere. Mm. Uh, why not get uh, 
somebody who can put up some money together. Yeah. We get an exploration uh, done, yeah. and then mm -hmm. we 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 put our heads together. And mm -hmm. Even if we have to sell it, we we can sell it for profit and share yeah. <laughs> <laughs> money. But at least we would say I was part of it. Yeah. Yeah. Than always having to yeah. to say, oh my God, look at what they did. Oh, they stole our stuff. So. We're, yeah. We have a chance. So I got through the three expression licenses in the, mm. in the new Copper Belt. Nice. Which is wow. near the Congo. And the Congo mm. is rich in minerals. If yeah. you get to, to the mining portal, you just type NGM. It will even show you the areas where I have my exploration wow. licenses. So, okay. uh, okay. so I was, I've, I'm just okay. trying to be careful who I bring on board. Yeah. Not yeah. just anybody. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, they'll just hustle me out. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so that's what I'm saying. There was another, actually, another black guy from Jamaica, mm -hmm. but he's a bit devious, this guy. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> so so I, I cut him off a little bit. Yeah. So, yeah. So I'm just trying to get some people who are straightforward. So, yeah, yeah. going forward, it's, we have to. It's about survival, I always it keep is. telling people. Mm -hmm. yeah. When they attack people, black people in Ukraine, Hmm. They are not gonna ask for a passport. Mm. Are you American? Are you Jamaican? They would just say they look black. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Deny yeah. them entry into a train. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's about survival. Yeah. So that's, yeah. that's my last. That. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for that. Yeah. Um, when's the next time you going to the Copper Belt? Before the 18th, I have a, I have a, I had a contractual dispute, so I have to be in Copper Belt on the 18th of this okay. month. Yes. Mm. So. Maybe I'll start off on the 15th. Okay. okay. Yeah, I yeah. drive there. Okay, yeah, let us know because we, we like to come along because we definitely want to check yeah, that yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm normally, I'm normally alone when I go. Oh. So uh, okay. because I, I, I here, I'm with my brother. My family is in Chingwala. Yeah. Okay. My wife okay. and kids, yes. Uh, so yeah. um, I normally drive alone, so better to come. Okay. okay. There's enough space. Yeah. Nice. Cool. Uh, cool. And the, and the lovely wife is going to put your. Uh, your email, and not your email, but your website in there, yeah. and your name, yes, in All the right. chat room, because yes. a lot of people are asking your name, and, uh, <laughs> and how can we yeah, get in touch with you, do you have a YouTube there. page, and you know, all those kind of questions. Oh, I, I have a YouTube uh, account, but I use my, my, my company account, I'm okay. not a YouTuber, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right, right, right. I'm not a YouTuber, yeah. but, uh, so, um, I'll just put your name there. Yeah, so Ayla, did you like the worms? Yes, they're caterpillars. Oh yeah, caterpillars, golly. I don't know why I keep saying worms. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. correct yeah. me. Because one of these I'm people who are going to write yeah. about our food, they went and named it Mopani worms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, that's yeah. why. Yeah. That's yeah. why. That's why you so, see it online. Not worms, so. I saw it online, yeah. so it's not like some of the stuff that people say, you know, sometimes you grab it offline, you're like, okay, you research it, and if you see them more than one place, it's like, okay, well, yeah. that must be what it is. Until you ask somebody, I guess yeah. you have to ask somebody local to mm. verify. Yeah. But they have it printed, and nobody says anything about people who print things and put it online, so. Yeah. Yeah. And thank you for the Super Chats family. I'm gonna read the messages uh, of the Super Chats real quick. Um, Africa is the promised land for black people. Yes, family. I definitely am in agreement with that. I'm in congruence with that. How about that? Yeah, Congo mm. is the love. Take back Congo, we take back Africa. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm in congruence with that as well, family. There's one more thing yeah. I want to say. Exactly. Okay. Um, you know, there's something that really broke my heart. So there's a, there's a, there's a, uh, these Cook brothers. You know, the, the, these Cook brothers, they, they, they buy chickens and they uh, s export them from, from from U.S. Okay. It's like a company. They, from uh, the U.S. Yes, K okay. K O C K C H. I think. Yeah, Coke Brothers. Oh, K O C H. Oh, Cash. I guess you pronounce K O C H. Yeah, Coke. Yeah. Coke. So what they what they were doing is that they they will get uh, farmers, black farmers, uh -huh. in the south. Mm -hmm. and then give them a contract to be supplying chickens to them. Mm -hmm. So they'll be supplying chickens to them, and um, it's, 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 it's linked to the point where I was trying to say, let's link up here. Yeah. yeah. So they, they will give these um, uh, black farmers a contract, so they will build storage, uh, so chicken runs, and mm -hmm. they, they will flourish for mm -hmm. 10 years maybe. Mm -hmm. And then after 10 years, they say, okay, they identify white South African, mm -hmm. and they'll say, okay, 
um, how do we drive this black guy out of a business? Uh -huh. So they will say, oh, our chickens, the standards we have now changed. We want the chicken runs to look like this. Mm -hmm. So when you look at the improvements they are demanding, uh -huh. coming by maybe to say $1 million. <laughs> this wife, a farmer cannot afford this because, yeah. uh, yeah. so they say, okay, but if you can't afford to, will you cancel your contract? Huh. Now he's got debt that he has to pay, you know, huh. tractors yeah. that yeah. he has to run. You can look it up. It's it's already there. There's even a lawsuit against against the, the, the city. I think it's in the southern states. Uh -huh. So I looked at these farmers. They are, they are really driven out of business. Mm -hmm. Last year, uh, no, as of 20, 2016, uh -huh. America exported about 600 million worth of chicken mm. to Congo and Angola. So now I was saying, okay, uh, maybe this brother has done up or, or uh -huh. play, has given up his, his, his farm. Why can't he come here? Uh -huh. We start that business uh -huh. and then we can negotiate with our government because the, our, the government now has realized the market in the Congo. So if we can get them from here and just say, say directly, they're just neighbors. Congo is up north. Yeah, yeah. Angola is, uh, is on the east. Mm -hmm. So these are some of the things I was uh, trying to say that there are so many opportunities that we uh, that can happen. Let's just try it out. Mm -hmm. We got uh, we got hundred um, hectares mm -hmm. in uh, uh, copper belt, and then we managed to get another fifty hectares in uh, that is outside of uh, of yeah. mining. Mm -hmm. uh, another fifty hectares of traditional land because yeah. for our tradition is that you can go to the chief mm -hmm. if you are from there, if your parents are from there, mm -hmm. and then if you have good plans to do something about maybe farming and bring. Mm -hmm some more development to the area, they can mm -hmm. give you that piece of land, yeah. provided you prove that you can develop it. Right. But if you just leave it bare, they will grab it off right. from you. Right. So, but mm -hmm. in terms of farming, there is so much potential. Mm -hmm. um, and they're looking at what happened with COVID, mm -hmm. people have to depend on each other to feed themselves. Right. Otherwise, they would just say, okay, now no, no more KFC. No mm. more, no more, <laughs> no more imported uh, frozen food from Europe. But we have to grow our own food. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah? That's right. and uh, the advantage is that people are going organic, and we yes. still have organic food which we can produce yes. here, which has got no genetically modified uh, yes. mm. uh, seeds. And with the chickens, yeah. if you can, um, like that farmer I saw, forgotten his name. I think I wrote it down. An American, black American farm. Mm. He lost everything. But I look at the, mm. the remainder what he can put if he was to come and restart from here mm -hmm. and we can use the same argument yeah. you know so I mean it looks very difficult at the beginning me yeah. for, for me to decide to come from the UK to come to Zambia yeah. people thought I was crazy huh? and yeah. I had uh, my brothers and sisters to look after because they were very young mm -hmm. my parents mm -hmm. had already died at that time mm -hmm. so it was almost like an impossible task but once you start you can, uh, you can, you can, you can, you can make it. So even uh, in terms of business, yeah. I see Econ almost like a lone soldier trying to tell people, come here, you can make some more money. <laughs> uh, but then you've got uh, people flashing money around. I mean, it's okay to spend your money, yeah. join pain and all that stuff. But uh -huh. long term, it's not long sustainable. Yeah. Yeah. It's not sustainable. So mm. that's. Uh, on, the, on those black farmers, and there's an association, I think, of mm -hmm. black farmers. I wrote it down. I've got the, the names. Mm -hmm. uh, if, you, if, if those people can make an association with us. Mm -hmm. Because when our governments travel to UK, mm -hmm. to, to US, mm -hmm. they are received by the ambassador in there. Mm -hmm. But the ambassador is influenced by a local government official who tell him not to look. When they go to the Chamber of, of Commerce, mm -hmm. they will not say, tell him to go to the black Chicago uh, Chamber of Commerce. No, no, they will skew him towards the other uh, people. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I mean, if you, if you, when you look at, it, there's nothing wrong with Louis Farrakhan. Yeah. I mean, uh, for me, when I look at, at what he has done yeah. to get a person from prison and make him into a productive citizen, mm -hmm. that's a lot. But people start still just dwell on what he said. I don't know what he said. Uh, the comments he made about uh, a group of people, mm -hmm. but you can't hold that some somebody. Um, down for so many, uh, even after he has made some, when people are demanding responsibility from the black community and what, look at what he has done. Yeah. But he, yeah. he is not even allowed to land here. He, he cannot fly directly yes, from there and they say, okay, I'm going to see, because the, um, the embassy will, will come and say, this is a dangerous man. But how, uh, how what's yeah. so dangerous about him? I grew up thinking like Malcolm X was a dangerous human being. Man, nope. But when I looked at what he was, uh, and how he spoke, was mm -hmm. completely different from the picture that I was given. Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah?
painted picture yeah. by, by somebody else. So we yeah. have, it's about yeah. survival. Yeah. You don't have to like each other, mm -hmm. but uh, what I don't want, wouldn't want to see is uh, uh, a brother being uh, uh, yeah. uh, short and nobody speaks uh, yeah. about it, and we don't yeah, have we a don't voice. Really yeah. uh, yeah. I see in Detroit, for instance, how the, the, the city hall just scrambled and they have got nowhere else to run. But if you've yeah. got an alternative, you can say, okay, you can do this now, but I'll come back. Let me go and recharge back in Africa. You come, <laughs> <laughs> we give you some coin and some change money. Mm -hmm. You go back and say, oh yeah, yeah, I went back, but say now this is what I have brought. It uh, happened during hey. the liberation struggle. That's so right. that's what I wanted to say. Oh, you, awesome, awesome. Thank yeah. you so much for all this You're welcome, my guys. Awesome. Thank you for uh, just yeah. enlightening us on a lot of mm. things. Mm. And then we we definitely feel the love, um, mm. us from America, you yeah. know, when we run into brothers like you on yes. the continent, you know, that uh, speak highly about Africa and speak highly about us, you know, we yes. definitely appreciate that and we don't take it lightly. Not at all. Um, we definitely going to stay connected mm. and a lot of people are asking for you to come back on so we could talk about uh, what yeah. businesses we could uh we could uh, have together or uh, investments we could do together and things yes. like that. Mm. And, and sometimes you, know, you don't even have to spend it, uh, your own money. Mm. Uh, sorry, mm. the sun is too much. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you, don't have to, you, you don't have to spend your own money. Can, uh -huh. I can tell you one, uh, one story. In uh, Northwestern province, okay. there, is, uh, uh, there were some, some <laughs> peace, 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 peace Corp volunteers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they came from the, the, through the embassy. But what they, 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 they did was they, they realized that actually this area has got some minerals, mm -hmm. right? And they teamed up with some guys from, from Canada. Mm -hmm. And then all they did was to get permission for the piece of land, right? Mm. And when they got permission for, for, for that piece of land, they registered. It was very cheap from the Ministry of Mine. The same way I have done it with mm -hmm. my mine. And then they got a reputable um, mining surveyor mm. who was able to 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 map up and uh, uh, quantify the number um, um, the amount of uh, deposits that are on the ground. Okay. Wow. So once they were able to do that with that one, uh -huh. then they went to the stock exchange and said, "All right, here is our document. We need some people to invest in it." Mm -hmm. So when they 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 they, they, they started getting offers, mm -hmm. they just sold that mine without having to put up any any machines or any they just sold so it's it's exchanged hands yeah. for billions of dollars i'm not talking about small coins from one to the next God. so uh, when i when i say that uh, some people can come here wow. i hope uh, uh so there is so much opportunity mm -hmm. yeah yeah because mm -hmm. even even when you have that one and as long as you discover what is under there mm -hmm. and you're able to quantify it and monetize the documents uh, yeah uh. <laughs> Wow, this brother's brilliant. He brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then, He's brilliant. And then you go, you can even go to the bank and this become a bankable document. We might need to save some. I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> give it a and little bit. Too many gems. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, uh, all right, the website's in the chat. Just go back and look oh, man. for the yeah. brother's website. Give it a good time. Yeah. yeah, and we, we definitely going to have you back on, good brother. All right. Yeah, it, thank you so much. No. But, uh, all right, the wife is putting it back in there. What is it in? NGM Consulting. So, uh, NGM. But shout out to all the 219 yeah. people in here. Uh, we got 148 likes. I don't, I never seen a, a channel like John. go live and then the likes match the uh, Just .com. Nothing else. the viewers that's on there. So let's see if we could do that today, family. So everybody just hit the like button who's com. in the room. No, yes. it's, uh, sorry. Um, it's at 148 likes. We have 215 people in here. Let's see how many. Uh, if y'all want us to stay free, on, let's get up to 213 likes, family. Yeah. In 10 seconds. I'm going to count to 10. 10, 9, Man. 8, in there. 7. All right. It's in the chat. 6, 5, 4, uh. 3, 2, and one, and we did not hit 200, but we hit 184. <laughs> it looked like it's jumping. I already like it. <laughs> I'm liking yeah. it. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Yeah, all right. So we got 188. That's good. Oh, Thank right. you all so That's much. Nice. Yeah. So I greeting, greetings. Uh, who says it? Proper. Uh, Israel says greetings. I came in late. I will have to rewatch. Okay, this for sure. Oh, yeah. A lot yeah. of gems were dropped. You want to go back and rewind this. 
and I put his website in the chat just now. I want to say shout out to Ja and Zola for dropping all this love all over the, the uh, in the chats today. Yeah. All these super, you know, <laughs> yeah. super chats, as well as our sister. Um, uh, who is it? I missed somebody. Our sister earlier who dropped that uh, super chat. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'll get your name in a second. I don't know why it goes away. Yeah. On the on the phone, I don't know why. But uh, if you go on the yeah. way, this sun. Hold on. Mm -hmm. I'm go this way. Cause the sun is intense. Yeah, it's getting. Yeah, it feels like it's uh, another update on the weather. <laughs> yeah. So I'm a, Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, I do an update on the weather. Thank y'all for the 200 likes. This is uh, very special. Let me go. Uh, hold on. Yeah, appreciate that, family. So right now. It actually feels like we're in Ibex Hill, uh, Lusaka, Zambia. It's actually uh, 75 degrees Fahrenheit, I would say. In mm -hmm. Celsius, I think it's around like 23, 24 degrees. You know, give or take a few degrees as family, you know. Um, <clears throat> the uh, humidity is around like 58% today. It's not wet. It don't look like any precipitation is going to be for the rest of the week, family. I just don't, it just feel kind of dry out here, you know. Um, and the dew point is around probably like 59 degrees, family. You know, give or take a couple degrees. It depends on where y'all at. A lot of y'all looking at your phones and let me see if he right. Okay, so but, you know, that's not accurate as I'm accurate, family. You know what I'm saying? You got to listen to the weatherman because I got the accurization in check, family. You hear me? I said the accurization in check. That's right. Yeah. So we're putting all of that in the chat. We got 204 oh, likes. Thank you very much. We are... Uh, Currently in Lusaka, we got Peter Brooks in the building, ladies and gentlemen. I said we got the one and only Peter Brooks in the building. Yeah. So, Ayla, Peter Brooks is in the building right now. Wow. Look at that. No, just like, <laughs> hello. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We have the legendary, the one and only, Peter Brooks. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, shout out to you. And shout out to the family. Shout out to Annette Rios and everybody who's in there. We're Right now, we're getting information so that we can actually put it in the chat, yes. family. All right. Yeah. So we yeah. Accurization. Uh, That's right. Mary yeah, Harbour, who's in the what building. We got here to make sure we put the right website in there for you guys. So we had to uh, retract that other one. We put it in there. And so now you should see his website come up. Just click that. Oh, yeah. Marilyn Jones. That's the other sister who gave us the uh, super chat. Thank you so much. <laughs> much love, sis. And also to uh, Ja, thank you so much for all yeah. the love you've been throwing on here today. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to uh, my brother Peter Brooks. Shout out to you. What's good? We are excellent. Zambia is wonderful, and we're doing great, brother. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yes. So we definitely gonna have our good brother on again. Um, right now, after eating all that enshima and uh, mm. caterpillars, I'm, I, I feel the itis coming upon me. So. Uh, I know the family's probably feeling. Look at Ayla, as a matter of fact. She's feeling it too. She, that and Shima gets her every time. Yeah. Yeah. And then mixed with the caterpillars, it's, it's just extra, uh, uh, yeah, extra A to C family. But we love y'all. We thank y'all for tuning in. Does anybody have any last words you want to say before we get off? Good brother. Oh, yeah. right. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Yeah. <laughs> I want to. <laughs> so you think you have said too much? Yeah, I just want no. to thank you again for uh, inviting us here yeah. for the uh, food. Everything was good, and and then the knowledge. We appreciate that, and yes. we will. Uh, we we gonna be in touch. We 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 friend. We family now. Yeah, that's it. That's yeah. Much you fed us, yeah. So. yeah, yeah. We family. I have a question. What what fruit trees are these? You have fruit trees yeah, everywhere. Yeah, what What's that? There? Oh, those are lemons. How about the yeah. one here? What's this right here? This is avocado. avocado. I thought so. Avocado. Oh, that's avocados. <laughs> I can't stand <laughs> avocado, but yeah, here's avocado. an avocado you tree anyway. Lemon. Yeah. Yeah, you got fruit in your in your yard. Yeah. That's uh, and you got banana tree, banana yeah, leaves banana. back, banana okay. trees back there. Yeah. Cool. Yes. All right. So we're gonna give it to Ayla. She's gonna give us the uh, her website and she's gonna take us on out. <laughs> Instagram, but yeah, ladies and gentlemen, follow me on Instagram at a l a underscore t h e underscore artist. Do not contact me unless you want art. Anything else <laughs> going to be answered. <laughs> so. Because people still do it anyway. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> and only if you're serious. Don't I charge for my art. It is not free. Yeah. So don't play. I don't play games with my business. This is not no. It's a business. Okay. <laughs> I have to address that. 
Thank you. All right, you can take us out. And we're the unapologetic nomads because we're unapologetically nomadic. All right, family. Nomadic. Peace.